Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. An absolute pleasure to be able to speak to you. Maybe you could just kick off with a brief introduction to this amazing new series, The Serpent Queen. What can people expect if they watch it in particular from you're playing the young version of the of the character Catherine? Yes. Um, so um, The Serpent Queen is set in the 16th century and it centers on Catherine de Medici's rise from uh, an orphaned Italian child um, to becoming quite a notorious and powerful ruler of France, the Queen of France. Um, it's set in a really brutal and um, threatening and corrupt world, um, as you know, the Tudor times were compared to nowadays. Um, and it basically, it focuses on how Catherine was able to ensure her survival by outsmarting a lot of a lot of people she was a very very smart character and yes i play the young catherine um samantha morton plays the older catherine um and it was such a gift of a character to play she's such um she's so different to a lot of um heroines in period dramas um she's quite anti-heroine i guess you could call her um she's as as said in the show she's no great beauty she's not very refined um and that's really fun to play. It's just re rebellious and, and very, very calculating, very smart. But obviously with this huge circumstances faced upon her and, and how on earth does she navigate that? Mm. So, yeah, that's in a nutshell. <laughs> And I guess um, in the past, it sometimes felt like period drama can be a bit pigeonholed or, or, or stereotyped. And, you know, in recent years, that's definitely, you know, some of those stereotypes and taboos have been broken. But this seems like yet another mm. example where it's in the tone um, and in fact, you know, the representation of female characters. So was that something that really called out to you when you read the script? Yes, absolutely. I mean, the, I mean, number one is there's a lot of direct address to camera, which is done in some period dramas lately. But again, when I read it, it just still felt so unique. And the writing of Justin um, Hayes, who wrote it, is, is so witty and, and wonderful. It was such a pleasure to be able to do that. Um, also, it is a very, it's a contemporary production of a period drama. And there's a lot of themes that still translate to nowadays, the political, corruption that's happening everywhere right now and um, the inequality of women um, and being a foreigner and an outsider and, and you know finding belonging and community in, in another culture in another country which is all very relevant to today um, and I you know she is she's um, someone else put it uh, you know she she's a feminist before her time um, she's completely outsmarting all the men in court all these powerful powerful men and it's such a pleasure to have played and it's wonderful to watch mm. I mean I have to admit I've always been a sucker for period drama you know in the past and up yeah. to today and one of the things I love so much about it I think is in addition to the usual things of you know the production values and, and and the acting it's just the incredible ambition and attention to detail in um, kind of the historical, the historically specific um, details. So what does mm. that mean to you as an actor going onto that set? And does it help you kind of develop your character, getting those dresses on, getting into the mud, et cetera, et cetera? Yeah, I mean, this was, um, this was probably, I mean, this was definitely the biggest scale production I've ever been a part of, but also the, the different departments were, I've never worked, I mean, I've worked with fantastic people on par, but you know, the, the, with the budget that they had, they really used it and they were incredible. I, I've never seen more magnificent costumes or hair and makeup or props. And, um, ca you know, the camera team, everyone was just so wonderful. Um, of course, it helped me. It helped me with my posture, wearing those corsets. Um, it made me feel powerful with the hair and makeup they put me. It also made me feel really sort of not refined, especially at the beginning when she is put through the mud and she's, you know, not very, um, not refined was the word I'm looking for. She's not very uh, uh, classy. Classy is that word I'm looking for? She's, she's, not, a, she's not a monarch by any means. Um, and so it really helped me get into character, of course it did. And um, and also it's based on a book. And so there was a lot of dense information there by Leone. Um, I think that's how you pronounce her name. Um, 
so that was wonderful to be able to have that as a source as well mm. I was going to yeah. ask that yeah did you have to kind of research beyond the script just to kind of understand how things worked in that time or mannerisms or yeah. ways of speaking I don't know or you know was it mainly there the script you could rely on that yes no I mean I did initially the google search <laughs> of what I could find out and then I read I tried to read all of it I ran out of time before shooting but I felt like I had a good enough uh, references to to rely on from from the book which was really great and then I suppose like with any project you just go with the script um it's good to have that that knowledge but I it doesn't change too much of I mean it does change your performance as a lie but but it, it, you know you you go on the script and then you you interpret that and um and the, the script is really dense with information as well um and obviously you feel like you're in that period of drama when you see the extras with their costumes and the big chateaus where we filmed and the papal palace I mean it was magnificent it was amazing production mm. yeah and tell us about working with this incredible cast I mean it's quite you know so many big names <laughs> jammed in they're quite an ensemble but in particular Samantha Mortimer is such a huge fan of hers back from you know days oh, yeah. of minority port and everything so what was it like working with her and I guess because obviously not sharing screen but you know did you work together to kind of develop how how the character was going to be from, from the beginning through to to the day-to-days yes I mean I really I didn't really work with her at all I think I met her twice and very briefly for like five minutes each but I know that we did, we, so we had this really wonderful voice coach called Nia and um, we shared, we didn't, we didn't have, um, we didn't have a shared sessions with her, but we had separate and Nia basically found a common thing that we both do and she wouldn't tell us, but she kind of brought it out in us. And mm. also Samantha's from Nottingham. I'm not from Nottingham originally, but I've, I lived there since I was seven. And so just getting that accent, that very subtle bus, bus, grass, not grass, you know, stuff like that. Um, we, that's how we sort of prepared. But no, I mean, so I didn't work with her. I've watched some of the episodes, though, and she's just magnificent. And I'm kind of glad I didn't see it because I would have been really overwhelmed. I would have been, oh, imposter syndrome. Um, but the cast is amazing. The, mm. the cast who I did work with, I, I love them all. I think they're wonderful. Mm. And just very quickly, so I'm almost out of time, but, you know, just thinking about your own career and like kind of had this meteoric rise, <laughs> you know, like doing jellyfish to doing roles like this. Um, and it feels like a very exciting time to be a young actress. Like there's just so many more varied roles, female led productions. So um, how has that been for you? And what have you got your sights set on next? Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, I, I mean, I got my first, job when I was 16 and now I'm 22 and it, I, I've been I felt really really lucky but it's definitely been ups and downs like there's been a long periods of time where I haven't worked and um and I've, I've not got anything on my sites right now I'm just auditioning back to auditioning so it definitely keeps you grounded and then having something like this come out is is I hope I hope it opens some opportunities but um but it, I've been so lucky with the roles I've had this in particular is such a gift so I can't wait for people to see it. Well, I'm no doubt yeah, you have lots of doors opened after this because it's an incredible <laughs> performance. So but lovely to oh, chat to you. Can't wait for everyone else to see The Serpent Queen. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Nice to chat to you. Bye. Thanks. Bye.